then we even did PNU campaign for oh, Kibaki. Was this now under Jomino? Under Jomino. Because okay, let's talk about that. That's man, that was a good big. mula. Like for me, that was a game changer because... Um, what? You started with PNU? You... Yo, you know what happened? DNA was appointed yes. brand ambassador because of? for PNU. Mm -hmm. Because of Banjuka. Banju that's how so big it was. Banjuka was phenomenal that the president's daughter and Judy and uh, the son approached Jomino and they're like we have to have this song as part of as our campaign anthem and remember See, like, the, the previous time they had used Gidi Gidi, Gidi, Gidi. so for yeah. them using a song is important it's important it's important so they, they spent a lot of money a lot less than like the most money we've heard of an artist win getting one in one day DNA was a trailblazer hmm. I've never seen that amount of cash at that time I don't want to tell you no, how no, much no, it no. was no 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 I understand it but it was in the millions, bro, in 2007. You understand? Mm. Like we're being paid 20,000 shillings. I gave us <laughs> millions. I didn't say one million. Mm. I said millions. millions. Yep. Have me correct. Big shout out D. Allow me to just say this because it's it's so amazing. And DNA showed me that you can make a whole lot of guap in this industry. But we sell ourselves short. If a president can pay you five million shillings, and then for every other gig. There's Ooh. your tombs. You see, there's the ambassador fee, yes, yes, and yes. then there's an appearance fee. Mm, mm. So, so, yep, yep, so, yep. so, 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 Whoa. So let's say 70 30, do the maths, do kidogo chap chap. It's still a good amount of money. Yeah. Per day, per gig. And then you see in campaigns, it's, it's, it's day, like day. every day, day, or, day. Every, or, or every other day, there's a gig. So, like, I remember I'm doing Kirigiti Stadium in Kiamba, I'm in Kirinyaga. I mean, let's get this right. This is an artist, this, not an yeah. MC. I'm, you, you because get. I'm trying to make guys understand you transitioned to be a secular, uh, as we are calling it, yeah, secular, secular artist. artist. Yes. Who was getting gigs? Mad. <laughs> And and I remember, you know, I didn't have a car at that time. So I used to borrow my mom's car to drive for those gigs. See, a, a gig is like in Kiambu or mm. it's in uh, Kirinyaga. But deep down. You need a motia mm. for logistics. You see, because you can't take a mat mm. or a taxi. It's yep, yep. Costly. So I would ask my mom for the car. Then I tell her I'll fuel it. So my, I return the car. It's full tank. I've just heard the lady. Some old ladies like, I'm going to how much. <laughs> Lady had a nice moti. At least it, it could be by me, my manager, and 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 my dancers. So my dancers was toxic. Do you remember toxic? Yeah. The chick with the big mm. booty before Vera Siddiq. <laughs> so there was before Actually, Vera Siddiq, no, guys. I don't remember. There was a chick called Toxic. Guys, <laughs> just Google. Toxic was like the premier video vixen. Toxic was that chick who, when she danced, bro, the crowd would go wild. Believe it or not, I was performing at uh, Uhuru, Uhuru Park for Kibaki, PNU, and I was doing Shake, my song Shake. Mm. One, two, the two, two, the three, two, the four. This is for everybody on the dance floor. Now shake, 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 shake it on the floor. Shake it till your sweat starts flooding on the floor. More than Billy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They man, I shake Haga, Lucy Kibaki, Alice Mankata, you Mziki lizimwa. <laughs> Mziki lizimwa. Makarao, wale detail, presidential detail, unplugged the power cable. They told us, stop, 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 stop. On stage, like, new Martin, ni rally, boss, ni political rally. Kama ushenda rally, unajua venye na kuangani noma. Ni wase wakibira, kawangware, kangemi, ni noma. Ni mbaya. DNJ. <laughs> Mahaga hivi. Tuliambiwa toka 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 toka. Do tulipewa yote. Toka toka ni toka ni toka ni toka ni. Wende wende wende. Oma msa mwa wende. I didn't finish my performance. Get out. Shake was my highlight at the time. It was like my biggest song at that time. Yeah. Secular. Yeah. Isonde uvinyeso hagas ilikosi na bounce buda. 
Ilikuwa ni noma. performances to be a show. Yes. Dancers and they wanted to do hot pants and combat. Come on. But where had you seen dancers? The, the Boomba girls. Even even in Gospel I had dancers. K1, K2 are my dancers. Oh yes. My friends Becky, Rebecca Mwikia and Becky was your dancer. Lilian Kanyi were my dancers. What? They, they are very senior corporate individuals. Uh, <laughs> but they danced for me in, for my events. You yes. can you go way back like that? Yes. Okay sir. Back 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 and big big shout out to my sisters man. So they supported me. See, even in my videos, I had dancers from Kenya. Oh, okay, yes. I've always had so a way. So you just went to, all to out. Now people. you just went harder. Yeah. So, this is so now here I realized, like, Rashe. in secular, sex sells. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, so, sex sells. So for my shows, I keep on the stage in Ashika. But I keep on the stage in Amadem in Ashika Zaidi. <laughs> you know, it's all about packaging. Package yourself, Baba. <laughs> So na panda stage na piga za kwanza za kwanza za kwanza alafu nasema nilete wa rembo ni siwalete. Ah! <laughs> Umati na kuwa chizi. Nilete ni silete. Before utawezana mtaweza kweli. That was a thing for Isa. Remember? Mm. Huh. Talking about Isa. Hey man dude I'm telling you there's so much. You there's so I'm telling you this interview it I read a book hours. after this one. Kulcha pa hours. Autobiography things. But we've not talked about Isa's death. Yeah. I mean for you Isa was a guy you knew and every time I talk to somebody who interacted with Isa because they are going to run out. Yeah. I try and capture as much as I can so yeah. that one day I can compile all these stories and it sort of becomes his yeah. story told through the eyes of other people. Correct. Like Isa, how did you meet him? I met Isa through Habib. So Hab, you know when when that song for Kuna Kijana Moja took us out see Joe Mm. Na, 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 na. Joe, that was his first jump and he had remixed Black Rob's Woe. Yeah. Into Swahili and we thought it was really cool and then Isa was like, Habib was like that's my bro. Wongo. That's my bro. Wongo. Aya, that's my bro. So I take you meet my bro. Sawa. <laughs> so we get that into the South Sea bus in Makini, we shook her life when I don't know where that is. Nema go ngumu stembe sana. Na sina siko na na jo mse yote ako hiyo area sana sana South Sea. So So we we go to Halai and we meet Isa. Wow. This is Isa. Wow. Then we shook at Tao, uh, we pigging laps and we meet Isa in Tao again. So that's my, how my interaction with Isa was like Isa was like my boy's big bro was really cool. Mm. He was a celebrity. Mm. And so Isa showed me that you can do it. That's that's what I took in from that interaction. Mm. Because he was rapping in Swahili, English Swahili, and then his Swahili was so fluid and so sweet. sweet. Mm. His voice was so immaculate, and and his delivery, he was so clear in diction, and and the stories were so fresh. Mm. That that for me became what I modeled my my rhymes towards. So for me, I feel like I'm a mix of the DMX, the Jaru, Swiss Beats, Crazy Hype. and Fatman Scoop Energy mm. and Isa. Oh nice. Nice. If there's a Kenyan artist I've, I've, I've loved and emulated and, and 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 really who has really inspired me it was Isa. It's my number one Kenyan inspiration. Do you remember where you are when he passed? I can't remember where I was. But I remember it, it being such a sad affair that we went to condole with Habib's family. Mm. Um Manga Habib ourselves some friends uh, uh Kina DP Warwinge Sunday friends of Habib so mm. and Habib's mama at the time Maureen we went to condole that's when I met Isa's mom for the first time mm. the, the sister I met Isa's girlfriend mm. Yvonne I can't remember her name but she was a neighbor she's living south sea also um yeah it it was so profound that for those mashakayas if I can call them that or that, those mambolezi My mom came. Yo. Yeah. My mom came it has affected me that much because this was like an idol, like mm. an icon I used to look up to. And my mom, you know, she's not Muslim, she's Christian. Mm. Like Muslim environment. Mm. That those are the days of like religion in Syria sana, mm. you know, interacting with, with Isa's family. It meeting my mom met Isa's mom. Mm. It was deep, man. Mm.
عفوا عنه واكرم نزله واسع مدخله وبصره بالماء الثلج والبرد alikuwa ni mtu mzuri sana na ni mtu anamcha Mungu sana 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 familia yetu imekuwa ikipenda Mungu kwa hivyo kweli nimepotelewa ndio ana kitu kikubwa kini mebaki na habibu bana sina mtoto mwingine wa kiume sasa ni habibu This was a wonderful person. He wanted me to follow his, in his steps. He always advised me. Even before he went, he was still telling me like, if I'm to go today, I'm the one who will take care of everything in the house. So his last wish was that I should go on with my studies and take his music somewhere. 22-year-old Issa was a highly talented young man who took pride in his music. <laughs> Some of his songs which proved very popular with the masses include Mos Mos, Leo Ni Leo and the latest hit Boomba Train featuring Nameless who survived the tragic accident. We may have lost such an exceptional artist but his memory will forever live on through his music. The people who started this, um, the Eric Wainaina, um, there's so many people who have inspired me, nameless, and I can, as in, when I see them succeed, it gives me the urge to go on. Vitisho vya peni mbili, vita nifanya mimi nini. So guess what? My own move from there to Shereki, Dogo, South Sea. You know how it is when, mm. when a real G passes. We kapak. Mm. We, we, we do kapak. We break bread. We, we we pour a drink for for an OG and we celebrate the life that he lived. <clears throat> so that was Isa for me. Eh, hey, cheers for sharing that. Yeah. Let's go back into this PNU story. Yeah. So so, <laughs> so hey, bro, you've done a lot. So PNU was the craziest one. My first political campaign. So this is this is the first time you're earning music from a yeah. secular perspective. Correct. So mm. Jomino put me on that money, and then thereafter, you know, we're doing corporate events. Was it change your there. life kind of money? Um. You no know, change your life kind of money is is, is for you at that time. You know, for me at that life, time, yes. it keeps changing. Correct. Yeah. It's, it's subjective. It's mm. it's very subjective. So at that time, yes, it was a lot of money. It was good money. I made good cash. I was able to save up. Um, you say you always saving, huh? Yeah, I've always been an investor. My mother is a banker. Mm -hmm. I've been a career banker for for a, a long, long time. Mm. So my mother inculcated the saving uh, and reward system in my life early. So hey, bro, I, used this one a, you need to teach guys. I used to have a piggy bank as a kid, a piggy bank, like for real. We put a coin and at the bottom it has a plug mm. so that when it fills up, you withdraw the money and you put it in a bank. My mom set up for me an account, Kitambo Sana. By the time I was finishing high school, I had cheddar in the bank account, even primary, I had good, good cheddar. And then how my mom used to do it is reward academic based. So. If, if I'd get an A, I'd get X amount. If I'd get an A minus, X amount. If I'd get an, a, a, a B plus, X amount. You understand? Mm. So the reward system was based on how many A's do I get. Mm. Let's say, come on, so I'm a Sombili, I'm a 250 or whatever. Now I'm calculating and I'm finding a total. There's no credit. Those are the days you do your, your, your answer sheet in the mail. Makiwa, 
Nam show. Mm. So then I started accumulating that cheddar. When I was younger, I do like car wash in the estate. I was always a, an entrepreneur. So I used to do car wash in the estate for guys. And then I used to charge like 50 shillings. Kosha Magari, so it was cheaper than Kinyata Market. Mm. <laughs> so, and then we are cute kids. So there's no way I'm there or our lady will cut her. Mm. And the car is in your deal. <laughs> exactly. So I use the neighbor's soap. I have my bucket and brush. And then I get my ki- my fellow kids to say, dear me in the car wash. And then I buy them cheapo. So 50 shillings. We uh, used to have a Bajia place in Gumo in a place called Magiwa Estate. So it's called Whispers. Mm. So those chips and Bajia. So it was 25 shillings chips. So 25 so with 50 shillings. I said 25 shillings or 20, I think 20 shillings. So 20 shillings, the 50 bob, I could do soda. So that's like 7 bob, it's like 12 bob. Mm. So I could do chips mbili, la soda. Or I do chips mbili, bila soda, mm. and then I do ball gums. <laughs> so I could do chips moja, yeah, you don't know, see guy, you. This guy is... I'm going to share chips mbili. Your 10 shillings balance, and I buy ball gum. Ball gum, it's like 50 cents. So I could do ball gums 20. Because I could do it with 10, it would distribute two equally. I have ball gum, it would be like a gazette. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but uh, this entrepreneur thing has always been in you. Delegation, Baba. Okay, so <laughs> let's go now. When does the MC start? Oh, you're now, is, is now after Jomino? Okay, this yeah. Jomino season so, is entering. So during that, that season of Jomino, the 2007 8, mm-hmm. that's when I believe the MC began properly. Because what happened now, we used to go to clubs to promote our music. 